Hi, dear students. Welcome to Meerigiri Academic Assist. Hope you are staying healthy and happy. As we have completed all the fundamental concepts like flow control, string, list, tuple and dictionary. Now we are heading to another important topic, functions in Python. This is our first chapter in plus two, which comes under the first unit, programming and computational thinking. In today's session, we will look at the following topics in detail. First, we have why functions. Then we will look at defining functions. And we have number of methods to define functions. We will look at only one function, that is void function. And at last, we have significance of indentation. These are the topics to be discussed in this session. And we can start with y functions. Before moving on to y functions, we must know what a function is. Actually, what is a function? We can define the term function as a set of statements to perform a particular task. Or we can say the function is a set of statements to perform a specific task. Okay? And we can categorize functions mainly into three. First, built-in function, second, modules, third, user-defined function. These are the three types of functions, built-in function, modules and user-defined function. Built-in function, otherwise known as predefined functions or library functions. You know the concept of built-in functions. We have already started using the function in our plus one programs. From the first program onwards, we have started using built-in functions. Uh, functions you might be rem remembering functions like print, input, str, int, uh, min, max, and number of functions in uh, various data types. Okay. And actually, what is built-in function? The function which are already defined. From the term itself, you can say what it's already built in built in this what python standard library okay and what is the specialty of python programming language you know, why python is so special why python is accepted so widely because of its features we have already uh, learned the features of python in uh, plus one and what makes python more usable as a programmer it's just because of its huge library availability of or support of huge library okay python is supported with a huge library and what is the advantage of having such a huge library we can make our program as simple as that because everything is already available so we have to just use it okay like uh, print it's already defined we're just using the function okay that is what built-in function is it's already defined therein Python standard library so that makes Python more important or most commonly used language okay we can use the application of Python in the trending fields of computer science like artificial intelligence machine learning data science IOT and in many other fields we can see what find the application of Python okay so that is what built-in function is and modules will be discussed later then user defined function from the term itself we can say what user defined function is a type of function defined by the user okay let's see a real life example after watching this video you might be getting tired and you'll have to learn it right okay you may be you are getting tired you'll go to your mom and asking for something to drink because you're tired okay your mom is intelligent as you okay of course it's your mom okay so 
she has already prepared something some variety of items for you to drink she has prepared lime juice apple juice banana shake and chiku shake okay she has all these items already prepared but you need something else you are asking for watermelon watermelon juice okay what actually happens of course she will be getting angry at you okay she may tell you better just go and get some watermelon and bring it back uh, just prepare it for yourself by yourself okay i don't think she will help you out to prepare this then how can you connect it to built in and user defined built in data type oh sorry built in function uh, here in the in our example uh, items like uh, lime juice apple juice banana shake and chiku shake belong to built in function because these are already prepared by your mom we can consider your mom as the library okay it's already prepared we just have to use it okay but in the case of user defined watermelon it's not a prepared you have to prepare it why you have to prepare it because it is not available in the library okay at the time we have to prepare it we have to create it that is what user defined function is so uh, when comes the application of user defined because at the time when we don't have a function that is built in function to perform the task we are intended to do we wanted to do okay that is what user defined function is so these are the three types of functions built in function or predefined function or library function and modules and finally we have user defined function and in today's session uh, our main focus is on user defined function because we have already uh, learned built in functions in plus one okay so we can look at user defined function so as it says user defined function is a type of function defined by the user okay because there is no such function available in the library we are discussing about why functions okay we can make it some more clear in plus one we have done all our programs with the help of basic programming constructs like simple if if else if elif structure then uh, looping constructs like for and while and using some inbuilt functions in all the data types okay uh, that is a method that is a type of what uh, features we have used in developing programs in plus one and we have uh, what done small programs only but when it comes to bigger when the program become complex the size as well as complexity of the program increases at that time a large single list of instruction would not be efficient or enough okay a large single list of instructions means there will be only one opening and one closing there will be one entrance and one exit so it will be very difficult for us to read it will be very difficult for us to understand things okay and it will be very difficult for us to debug also if there comes any error it will be very difficult very tough task for us to locate and correct it okay that is a problem with uh, what normal way of doing things okay so we need a solution in real time how we are solving a complex problem just think of it when there comes any complex problem in our life we have to fix it anyway okay how are we fixing of course we follow divide and conquer method right the problem will be divided divided and we what finally we get a product that will be easily solvable okay here in the case of computer programming also we are following the same pattern of divide and conquer okay when we get a problem of course the problem is somewhat big or complex okay we divide the problem into pieces and the process of dividing a problem into sub problems again into sub problems until we reach a stage where each of these sub problem can be easily solved that is that process is called modularity and the approach is called divide and conquer method okay
actually modularity is a process of dividing a problem into sub problems sub problems until we reach a stage where each of these sub problem can be easily solved and that approach is called divide and conquer approach okay let's take an example a real life example we can consider our plus 2 textbook name of the textbook is computer science with python okay that can be taken as our problem okay how are we solving it our problem is computer science with python and the method of solving is we, we are dividing computer science with python into different units first and each unit is divided into different chapters each chapter into different topics each topic into different subtopics okay and so on that is the method okay then the the bottom most one the last product will be a smaller one and which will be very easy for us to understand or to learn okay that is what modularity is the process of dividing a problem to get it solvable okay when we come to computer science example we can have a calculator as our problem okay calculator when we think of designing or developing a calculator first we are what assuming uh, what uh, we are thinking of the operators right we can have four basic operations addition subtraction multiplication and division okay we can have all these operations and addition here is our first division our problem is calculator and we are following modularity or divide and conquer approach so first we are dividing the main problem calculator into sub problems okay and plus we consider the first sub problem it can be again divided into two which are they yeah we can perform addition on integer values okay the same way we can perform addition on floating point value okay then we have the second subdivision that is plus is divided into inter float we can have one more division or any number of divisions okay int can be performed on two numbers like we can add two numbers 4 plus 5 okay example and we can have 4 plus 9 plus 5 okay 4 plus 9 plus 5 what is the difference here in the uh, first division of int we have added two numbers and in the second division we have added three numbers this is what actually modularity is okay modularity means a process of dividing a problem into sub problems again into sub problems again into sub problems until we reach a stage where each of the sub problem can be easily solved we have first we are solving 4 plus 5 then 4 plus 9 plus 5 and we are joining it to int okay then what float then to plus then uh, what we will uh, solve all these and together we make the final solution for calculator okay that is what modularity is okay and each of the sub problem we have uh, separate terminologies different terminologies for sub problems and these are called we have different names okay one is module another term is function we can call it as procedure we can call it a sub program okay these are some of the names okay sub programs okay these are some of the terminologies used to refer to sub programs okay module function procedure sub program okay we have one more name method okay it can also be called as what method in sub programming language functions are referred to as what method okay all are same okay so this is what function is 